Let's talk about Lenz law. So already Faraday's second law state that the induced EMF is equal to rate of change of magnetic flux. Now Lenz's law gives the idea about the direction of the induced EMF. So that let us consider a coil and we are having a magnetic field. We are introducing a magnetic field to the coil and let the angle between the normal of that area and the magnetic field be theta. Now, if the coil is rotating in the direction as shown in the figure or rotating in this direction, we know the theta will be decreasing. Mm -hmm. If theta decreases, cos theta will be increasing. That means the flux is increasing. So what happens is the coil tries to oppose its cause. That means it tries to decrease the uh, magnetic flux. For that, what it will be doing is it will try to decrease this magnetic field. That means it should act as a north pole such that it can create magnetic field opposing the given magnetic field. So if it is to oppose this magnetic field, then the current running here will be in such a way that or the EMF created should be in such a way that it is opposing the cause. So suppose let's look if the current is uh, flowing in this direction that is the plus EMF, the plus sign is created here and the minus is created here. Then by our law the magnetic field induced there will be like this by right hand row. So it will act as a north pole. So if it is acting as a north pole it can oppose the cause. So, Lenz's law gives us the direction of induced EMF and it says that the induced EMF will be in such a way that it opposes the cause. So, uh, it, the flux, flux means the flux is created because of the magnetic field, it is our input. But the output created here, the EMF opposes the cause, that means they are opposite in direction. So, E is equal to negative d by dt. Thank you.